Hello everybody, this is Damien Plays and May is 3D and this is missions 11 to 20. So yeah, let's get uh, straight into it. Uh, Alright, so I don't think this game is going to uh, mess with me as much as the other two did. Or, eh, the, the, the first one didn't mess with me as much as the second did. <laughs> there was a few occasions where it uh, cut me out. Alright. So, just... I think, uh, because it's in 3D, you get more of a... You get a better perspective of where you actually need to be. So... And that is the end of Mission 11. Okay. Oh man, I just, I honestly can't get over how nice this looks. Just like, oh, it looks really, really nice. Here we go with the, uh, the nice, um, saying nice all the time. It looks glorious. It looks fantastic. It looks heavenly. Uh, let me think of more synonyms. It looks uh, amazeballed. I'm just gonna say amazeballed. <laughs> so that's mission 12. And the music's really nice too. Well, it's relaxing, like it's, it's, you know. Can't be listening to trash metal all the time, I suppose. Yeah, this game is much, much easier than the, uh, the first and second. Or I find it a lot easier to work in this kind of capacity. Oh, I really like that. Oh, that is lovely. I love the yellow and black. Danger or warning. Like, I, I know it's the same kind of, I know the space texture in the back, or, yeah, the space background is the same, just change colours, but, I don't actually give a rats, it's just, it's a beautiful game to look at. I know it's very simplistic, but it's just, there's something about this game that I'm really enjoying. It's just very sleek, or it's just, it's polished, that's what it is, it's very polished. Like and I love all these textures. Like like, you know, they add the bo the ball, plus the, the background makes a lot of sense. You know, um, now you might actually, you know, have an argument saying that it's kind of hard to see the ball, but I mean the camera moves with the ball, so you're not gonna be kind of snookering that way. But like the problem, well, there it was a problem in the other two, but the backgrounds were like say mad color, yellow, green, blue, whatever. And the ball be like mad pink or something. Now that, I know that's to make the ball stand out, but look at this, right? The background's like a stone, you know, uh, a cobbled path or something, and the ball is silver and grey, same as it, you know. And it's just polished. I do like the metallic sheen off the ball. I just oh, like look at this. This is like the end of a uh, what's that game? Uh, Earthbound. Is there a the one where you're fighting the the kind of defeat this thing at the end? I think it is, yeah. Like, it's funny, this game the backgrounds are just it remind me of a lot of other games. Like I said, I think in the last one I said it, uh, at some point it was reminding me of yeah, Lord of the Rings. Um, and uh now it's reminding me of Earthbound, and it's reminding me of Doom, funny enough, with the you know, the, the background of Doom that has all the demons kind of on a wall. 
Um, so yeah, it's just you can see where they get their inspiration. Like even this, it looks like wooden, a kind of wooden ball with wooden walls. Um, And you might be asking me, you know, hey, why are you doing all, well, why are you going to do all the sequels? And it's just like, well, it's relaxing. It's a, I find it to be actually a fun game. And honestly, I don't think you give a game a fair shake until you kind of realize, you know, where it, it, it's, it, it wants to be, where the developers want to be. Sometimes you don't get it right in the first game. You know, the first game would be fine, but sometimes you don't get it right. You know, sometimes they're like, maybe budget uh, restraints, or maybe, you know, uh, time restraints or whatever, but they're like, I'm not saying this happens all the time, but maybe sometimes it just goes, look, it, it's not the game we wanted to make, um, but we're like 90% of the way there. So then, the first game comes out, and uh, say if it, got, it does really well, makes a lot of money or whatever, then they have the money, then they have the time. You know, people, if you announce a game and it's the first game, yeah, yeah, you do get a, a lot of free time to do it, but uh, sometimes companies go, yeah, go on, get it out there. But with a second game, I mean, people want it to, to if they're investing in it, they want it to be right. So they'll give you all the time in the world. Uh, they might complain, go, where's the game, where's the game, where's the game? But to make sure it's right, I'd rather wait, you know, five, six years. Or, well, you know what I mean, like maybe not five or six years, but I'd rather wait a long time. I'll, I'll, I'll give the game enough time to come out with a good sequel instead of a rush sequel, you know, come out, you know, once a year or one every year or, you know, it comes out, you know, two years after the first one and uh, it's it just like, you know, what is this? You had, you had the time, like, when you use it. So. But anyway, that's just kind of a little bit of a rant about sequels and stuff like that. Tell me what you think of it, though. Tell me what you think about sequels. You know, um, I know sequels get a bad rap. Um, or bad rep, sorry. Bad reputation. Uh, some of them. Not all of them get a bad reputation, obviously. But, you know, there's a the whole thing. Sequels are never better, as good as the first one. Uh, I tend to disagree on a lot of cases. Uh, not all of them. Of course, you know, the originals are better than the sequels sometimes. But uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know how you feel on the issue. Talk to me. You know. Let me in. <laughs> uh, do, 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 okay. Like the other thing is, I can go, I can go on and have a little rant or, you know, just talk away while playing this game because it's just relaxing. It's a relaxing game. I don't need to think about, oh crap, is there going to be monsters around this corner or I need to think about the puzzle or whatever. It's just a nice relaxing game. It's just, you know, I get nearly fall asleep to this game, which is, uh, that's not a bad thing. I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but it's just relaxing, which I like. So that's the end of episode 20. Uh, yeah, so we're two fifths of the way through 40% of the way through and uh, yeah I'm really really enjoying it so far so I will see you in uh, part 3 missions 21 to 30 and uh, yeah I'll see you then and I hope you enjoyed watching me play and as always thanks for watching